make me know it ain't so. Learn with me, they'll come for your blow. Games we play, can't take it from snow. Cause, Cause the, the devil, devil is a lie, lie. Hey, I'm, I'm telling you the truth, hey. hey. It's so all in what you do, hey. hey. So what you gotta do, hey, 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 hey. Hey, barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, you guys see it on the screen, man. Nine Wives is out now, man. I'm back. I'm back producing and directing and writing, man. And uh, it's been a few years. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. You know, and um, Nine Wives, I mean, we're officially back, man. The next film should be out February 1st, so... I'm definitely going all in as it pertains to this man and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna pull back on my box and resources and put it into my really really creativity so click the link in the bio nine wives is officially there and uh enjoy it you know um we, we're in three film festivals we rocking and rolling and uh thank you guys in advance for supporting the project now caleb plant now i'm a i'm a all-in supporter of caleb plant and uh as it pertains to rooting for him in the ring and but i don't control the business and um i really believe with the financial woes that that appears to be at pbc and the reason why i say appears to be is because of the main events that they've had on fox it's just been pathetic you know michael coffee versus somebody don't even know the name uh this past weekend stakeonia versus Colazo. David Morrell versus somebody I've never heard of before. If you put those three fights together, it doesn't equal a million dollars in total purses. And when you don't have the NFL competing against you, college football competing against you, and the NBA competing against you, and you put these tight fights up, it's uh, it's uh, it, it it causes for great concern. And and I know we got a lot of Al Heyman supporters, but I'm gonna tell you this. If they offered him $40 million for a fight, <laughs> do you think they want to return on their money? Take the names away. Put yourself. If you invest $40 million for one fight, wouldn't you want to return on your money? The answer is yes. What do you want? One time, two times, three times your money? Obviously. You know, they want to make $100 million and give Canelo 40, give Caleb Plant 10, they walk away with 50. That's ideal. That would be a perfect scenario. And um, quite possibly, I think Caleb Plant could be the sacrificial lamb for PBC. Uh, it's not going to be public. It's going to be real subtle, like how they tried to do in the WBA, how they tried to hide the judge. But she had to put the cherry on top, 117, 111. <laughs> you were supposed to make it 115, 114. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, but I'll say this to say this. Caleb Plant. No one's going to tell you, hey, uh, you know, we're pulling for you, yada, yada, yada. No one's going to say they're not pulling for you. But at the end of the day, the business of boxing would love for Canelo to win, get all four belts, then throw him down in Texas sometime in February, sometime in January, maybe against Charlo. Get 73,000 people. They would love to put him on Fox for the NFL countdown and just build his brand and build his brand and build his brand and or just push it to Cinco de Mayo. But I would think they would want to get a fight in during football season because it's just going to explode, you know, in terms of, and I don't know if it'll be David Benavidez, Jamal Charlo, or even someone like in, in between good and great, like a tune-up fight for Canelo to build into Cinco de Mayo weekend. Similar schedule to what uh, uh, Eddie Hearn Eddie Hearn did, you know, but uh, but I gen but I one hundred percent believe that everything will be cooked in favor of Canelo because they can't afford boxing can't, really can't afford for him to lose right now, you know, um, but um, we'll see if it's a one fight deal, then quite possibly, but if it's a if Canelo signs a three fight deal. With PBC, Caleb Plant, you better sleep in that gym. Ain't no one going to be on your favor. Because you got to put this in perspective, Caleb Plant. And I'm talking to Caleb Plant directly. Louis DeCoupas does business with Al Heyman. He's going to tell you what you need to hear. But he got 100. He got Warrior Boxing got 20, 30 other fighters that they got to 
get dates for. And they work directly with PBC and Al Heyman. You're just one. And I think they've done their job by giving you their $10 million payday. And business must goes on, go on after that. So, so at the end of the day, I, do they want you to win? Yeah, they got relationships with you. But if, if, if something is close and controversial, they're not going to fight on your behalf. You, you think Warriors Boxing is going to dispute Al Heyman? When they got all those fights in the armory, they getting all the Fox, uh, they getting all the Fox dates and whatever the case may be. Man, boxing is crooked, man. Boxing is crooked, and they they only allow a few people at the table. And um, so, Caleb, I wish you well. I know how important this fight is to you. I, I I know you to be fearless. I know you to be a superhero. One of our last conversations we had in your gym, and uh, I'm obviously rooting for you. Um, but I, I, I got to make this video and be very pragmatic with you. Keep your mouth shut. It's no need to be loud and boisterous and just work, 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 work. You have the skill set to defeat a Canelo Alvarez. Do you have the durability? Can you be consistent for 12 rounds? That's what the betting public really wants to know about you, you know? Um, um, and, uh, it's just, it's just, it's just, just this is just going to be a compelling fight. Caleb Plant won't take a back step in the promotion of this fight, which will be exciting. And for once, he'll get an American. And so uh, it will be some back and forth. And uh, Caleb, don't hold nothing back. This is your moment, dog. This is, this is, uh, this is, you know what you're fighting for. You know, your mom, your daughter, your respect, 17 and 0 with a belt. People question you. Um, is he really that good? You know, it's it's the world is your stage right now. And hopefully they and I want boxing to make this fight. Um, just because we need an event. I know we got October 9th. Um, and I know people are exhausted from that promotion, <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh but I, I think if we get Deontay Wilder in October, we get Canelo and Plant in November, and if Earl Spence can come back in January, that gives boxing a little post. You know, but it, it has to be on the up and up. So, but anyways, man, um, Caleb Plant, the, the uh, it will be stacked against you from a business perspective. Um, Al Heyman and PBC needs a return on their forty million dollars. Understand that it's no need to hoop and holler about it. This is boxing. We all understand this. If if you need any further proof, j just look at the two losses. That uh, Pernell Whitaker took against Chavez and uh, De La Hoya, you know De La Hoya didn't didn't land a punch the whole fight. <laughs> I'll never forget when he when he missed like 13, 14, 15 punches in a row, and the bell rang, and Oscar De La Hoya looked back like, "Wow, wow." There, there are it's like it's like he looked back and was saying like, "There are levels to this." <laughs> They, you know, Pernell Whitaker, man, is 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 the best fighter that I've ever seen, you know, uh, in terms of just managing the whole landscape of the ring. You know, Roy Jones was probably offensively the most special fighter, that physically special fighter I've ever seen. But Pernell Whitaker, how he navigated the entire ring flawlessly, like a ballerina, you know, it's it's gonna be hard to duplicate that. Rest in peace, Pernell Whitaker. And uh, yeah, we, we got to make sure that these legends live forever, man. So, you know, what I mean, Pernell Whitaker was a special guy, man. It's sad what, you know, his codependencies, man, did to him in terms of, you know. But anyhow, man, um, um, barbershop conversations, Caleb Plant, you got to work. You got to work. You get in city gym. Is that where you're at? City gym? And bust your ass. You know what I mean? Because... One judge will already have Canelo up two rounds. The W are you what belt do you have? You have the IBF. We already know what's up with the WBA, so WBA is you know. Anyways, man. I wish you luck, Caleb. I uh I I, I believe you to have what it takes to win. Can you do it for twelve rounds against that level of opposition? The world I want to see it. You know, I don't have doubts, but I want to see it. Um, I'll bet a couple hundred dollars on you. You know, it only makes it only makes sense. You know, you want you gonna be a three to one underdog, two and a half to one underdog. Why not bet two hundred dollars to win six hundred? It only makes sense, right? So, good luck. Stay in the gym. 
and 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 mislead Canelo. You know, post some pictures of you fat or something. You know, like uh, do a video. I don't feel like training today. You know, negotiations are slow today. I think I'm gonna just go take the day off and go to the buffet or something like that. You know, Canelo likes to believe that he has an edge, and that's why he's delayed the negotiations for whatever reason. You know, some say may he's he's on his bicycle. You know, he's been cycling. You know, uh, the Tour de France, <laughs> Tour de Tacos, Tour Tour de Cani Asada del Tacos, whatever it's called. You know, and um, we'll see. So, uh, good luck. Wish you luck, and don't forget, Nine Wives is out now. Click the link in the description box. It's the movie of the year, you know, and uh, it's the best work I've ever done, and I'm Emmy nominated. So I've, I've been at the top of the hill in terms of directing and producing, you know, and I'm back. You know, Kennedy's in school full time for the next 12 years. I'm back. I'm back. AZ, nigga. I'm back. I'm back. Shout out to Sugar Hill, man. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free, hit the subscribe button and click the link and watch Nine Wives now. Peace.